Hello. Uh, <clears throat> this is Punk Walrus here. Uh, today is the Monday, the 28th of November, 2016. Um, I had sent in a comment to Reddit, and a lot of people wanted to know exactly about this uh, kaleidoscope uh, meant for the blind. Um, this it's it's a very uh, how shall I put this 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 is not exactly the most impressive looking object. Uh, it is about the size of a large peach pit or a charcoal briquette. Uh, if you look on here, there are bumps. These represent uh, springs and small bits of uh, um, metal that are held together. Uh, inside of this. As you can see, it's kind of like a clamshell. It's, a, it's got a top and a bottom with a welded seam along the sides. And uh, I've had this thing for about 21 years. Uh, originally, I got it from a friend of mine who is a kaleidoscope collector. And um, this object is a very unusual thing. Now, uh, a lot of people, it's going to be really hard to do this on a webcam because there's a sound that is associated with it, which I can really only make if I bang it really hard so the microphone will pick it up uh, and test that I've done, so it won't sound that impressive. I don't know if it's even picked up at all, um, but... Now, I can feel it vibrate in my hand when I do that. Um, it's similar to those Chinese balls that you see in, like, little velvet boxes that uh, uh, people can buy in, like, any oriental gift store, like in Chinatown in New York City. But uh, this is a more advanced version of it because, and again, the microphone can't really pick it up, but the springs and the little metal bits actually harmonize with one another. So when you hold it up to your ear, it uh, sounds uh, like a, like a kind of like a little song. It's hard to it's it's really not a sound that is that I've really heard anywhere else in nature except it's kind of like a combination of springs and wind chimes. Um, and so, but everyone wanted to see it. Now I can't find this object on the web. Uh, this is a very rare collector's item, and unfortunately, my Google Foo is uh, failing me because kaleidoscope and blind which you would think you know that'd be the first thing you'd look for uh, is actually the name of a South African group for the blind uh, and when you do like kaleidoscope blind metal sound that kind of thing there are there's a band uh, called uh, kaleidoscope uh, that uh, uh, has a rare sound uh, there's like a lot of records that show up I cannot find this on the web uh, I know there are only 150 made. I searched through kaleidoscope forums, which they do exist, uh, and I've never found anything like it. Um, and when it originally came, it came in a little rosewood box that was lined with uh, like a very uh, expensive blue velvet. Uh, I had a little plaque that had the number on it, like, you know, 21 out of 150. I believe that this one was, I don't think it's written on here, but I think it was like 150 out of 150. It was the last one that he made. Um, and I don't know if you can see the author's marks on it. Uh, it's not focusing too well, unfortunately. Uh, but the artist had signed it. Now, I was told uh, by my friend uh, that collected kaleidoscopes and uh, that is a very esoteric niche community, let me tell you. Um, it said that uh, the gentleman who was making these was a kaleidoscope maker, and he was going blind because he, he was getting Alzheimer's, and so he decided to make a kaleidoscope for the blind, uh, and he only made 150 of them uh, before Alzheimer's had gotten him to a point where he couldn't work in his workshop anymore, and he died shortly thereafter, and I believe his wife was the one who actually made the boxes and put the numbers on them. I can't really remember. I was told this really grand saga about it, and it, to be honest, like when you say it, it kind of sounds like bullshit, but until you hear this thing, it's really different. And, and it changes tune the longer you hold it because the warmth of your hand alters the springs, but it still keeps a harmony. And uh, in, until you hear it, until you listen to it, and if it's really, really quiet, your heartbeat in your palm will make it harmonize just a little bit. But it, it requires a very quiet room, and you hear like a... And it, it's, uh, 
uh, it's a unique, well, you know, it's one out of 150, but it, it, it's a very rare piece, and it's probably the rarest thing that I own uh, that is extremely obscure. Um, again, I can't even make out the signature. It looks Greek, uh, to be honest, or like a backwards script. Um, and uh, that's the story of the rarest object that I own. Uh, hope you enjoyed.